have fundraising fundraising for cricket clubs. And with Toyota, they're offering great prizes, a Toyota RAV4, a Toyota Corolla, and a two-hour clinic with uh, Toyota Ambassador Stephen Moore. Uh, all the money raised from ticket sales goes back to grassroots cricket and clubs. Last year, Toyota and Cricket Australia raised $229,000 for 247 cricket clubs. So this year, they're hoping for more. So if you see any clubs selling tickets in your area, see if you can get behind them and make a difference for grassroots cricket in Australia. So toyota.com.au slash cricket raffle for more details. 229,000. Those 247 cricket clubs sold plenty. Not too many grey hairs for George Bailey in Sydney. He might be sprouting a couple here. His partnership 95 of 104. The game's just getting away from him a touch. Well, the non striker doesn't want a bar of it. Luckily, Sharma didn't overcommit too far. Interesting to see if he'd have hit here, then Maxwell would have got back, right? That slower ball, he commits a long way. And there's Maxwell, look at him go. Slides, throws, no, he would have got back. Hey, what, he might have been two steps, though, from making the non-striker run. And then there was trouble, so it was very clever from the non-striker to send the batsman back. About the great fielders that we've seen in this form of the game, Viv Richards, an unbelievable fielder, and probably got it all started. Ricky Ponting, who's uh, Glenn Maxwell's been likened to, uh, they're, they're, they're menacing. They just press in, and, and all the batsmen are aware of where they are, and they create half chances by their anticipation and just their physical demeanour. Full toss, just slid past leg stump, tough call. He's looking to bowl around his legs there. <laughs> Trying to get that, well, it's left arm chinaman when he bowls out of the back of the hand like that. He's hoping it might have gripped and bowled him around his legs. That would have been some dismissal. Any time it slides down the leg side, it's, it's a wide, doesn't matter how narrow a margin. It's not missing by that much, but it's a wide. Oh, big full toss. It's a no ball. Rainer gets a single, and the free hit will be Sharma's. Is it a free hit? Overhead high, over waist high? Maybe not. No, I think it's just for the front foot, the free hit. So you can see there's not a no ball. It's a no ball because of that, that height of that ball. So they'd have to re-bowl the ball, and they'll get two from it. Try not to get hurt with the extra one. He doesn't. are ready. They're ready to hit the stumps. Let's hope they do that when they need to. And that's always the worry, I reckon. Hitting the stumps regularly at the moment. What you need to do is obviously have a, an opportunity to match when they're out of their grounds. Smith's hit them once. Maxwell, I think, at least once, if not twice. This is Andrew Simons was another one. They're just enormous presence. You just know where they are because they're so quick and so dangerous. And the anticipation and athleticism they've got as they're preparing for every ball is what separates them from the normal fields. And little jump, balance, bang. They're like panthers. And he's not walking straight at the batsman. He's walking to the middle of the pitch, sometimes going into the pitch sideways, cutting down the single opportunities. Oh, it's side of the way. This is good cricket. Walker's not happy, but he's bowled a pretty good over. The run in between wickets, excellent. And India, a three for 159 with 19 overs to go.